Good morning YouTube. It is 21st of October, Saturday 2017. My name's Jan Silva and I've been video logging my journey to and beyond the gastric bypass, which you all kind of know. I'm 44 years old for a short time longer. I'm five foot five and a half at my heaviest weight. I think I weighed about 120 kgs. I'm now 84, do the math. It's a pretty superb journey that I've been on. I'm on a walk with my husband at the moment who's about 10 paces ahead of me. Um, he's on the phone to his mother so I figured I'd take a step back and get my YouTube going. Life seems to get really busy lately and it's not even yesterday. I did not want to do a YouTube but I spent it with my granddaughter and she really is um, a reason to forget to look at your phone or to forget to think about social media or anything else that's going on in your life. So. Uh, I thought I'll walk with my husband this morning and I'll get back to it having a beautiful walk along the canal as you can see sun is coming up it's about half past nine in the morning I think and yeah I just wanted to answer a few things I know Cy Can has been a fantastic support on here by the way thank you um, but she asked me she's post-surgery not that long out about when I started to eat solid foods with Christmas coming up she doesn't want a puree blah 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 but as I have said before, and I will be repeating myself, it's such a unique journey. My surgeons were really relaxed on how I took control of my own destiny and weight loss, I guess. And nothing was out of bounds for me. Um, he really trusted me to go off and listen to my body, which I have done in many, many ways. So, you know, like I've said before, what I may have done won't be the same as what you would do. My answer to everybody, I guess, is go back and ask your hospital what they advise because it's them that's set your path for you. And I can only advise to listen to your body, but listen to your healthcare professionals first because what they might advise works for me may not work for you. And somebody else had asked me, I just looked at the name and now I can't think, watch me shrink I think something like that um, about taking ibuprofen which is supposed to be or NSAIDs which is supposed to be an absolute big no-no when you've had a gastric bypass or bariatric surgery but with endometriosis which I get each month alongside my menstrual cycle I think I've talked about it in depth on here quite a bit nothing else touches that pain I need an anti-inflammatory I think if I was going to take it long term, uh, it wouldn't be good and I wouldn't be able to do it. But because I literally take them three or four days a month and I only really take them when I'm in absolute agony, I don't pop them like sweeties. Um, I do it for pain relief only alongside paracetamol. Um, I don't think it's an issue. I think, like I said, if I was going to do it long term, then it would be. There's a jogger coming by, so I'll just um, look a bit silly. Good morning. So, yeah, I am. Um, yeah, so that's my answer to that is, again, this is my individual journey and what I do or, or whatever. People shouldn't follow because I'm no health professional. I'm doing what's right for my body and... I'm doing what's right for me personally. Even these videos, at the end of the day, they are for me to look back and compare how far I've come on my journey um, in the hope that along the way, I can inspire other people um, because I've been inspired by others. Not everybody's gonna like you. You're not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, but that's okay. Um, you know, originally I didn't do any of this to make friends or meet people. Good morning. Um, this is about me, myself and I, getting fit, getting healthy, losing weight in the process. And, you know, Tony is losing it. Congratulations, welcome to the loser's bench, my love. Um, I know she messaged me this morning saying she doesn't feel any restriction with her water. Again, my advice to you would be, there is no advice because your body is completely different to my body and how you're gonna react and recover from your surgery is completely different. To how I reacted and you know drinking was agony so I would just say Tony it's a really good thing that you've not got that um, Howie is 
walked the wrong way. I'll just show you, he's on the phone to his mother. See? Um, so yeah, I would just literally say that um, it's a good thing because one of the hardest things post-surgery instantly, Tony, is to have to get your water down um, and get that amount that they, you need to have down. And if you're getting that down, it's not a worry. You're doing it, there's no restriction, that's fine. Your body will take a few days to catch up with what's happened because at the moment, you're, everything still thinks that you are as you were prior to surgery. I think it's a bypass that you've had, um, like myself. And it will, it'll take your body a few days and then suddenly it'll go, oh shit. And don't get on the scales, Tony, because you will have gained a bit of weight. You might already know that because you're obviously swollen, you've got water retention and it's just one of those things. But believe me, it'll start coming off. And yeah, good luck to you and rest up you're going to be knackered the anesthetic anesthetic knocks us all out for ages so just kind of rest up with it listen to your body it sounds so boring doesn't it i just keep saying that all the time listen to your body listen to your body i just have that motto tattooed across my forehead but i don't think it's bad advice guys if something doesn't feel right don't do it i'm the first one to say i'll try anything once almost anything once um but if it doesn't feel right stop doing it if it's not broken, don't fix it. I don't think that's a bad way to go. Anyway, the rain is coming down a little bit at the moment. Hey ho, I'm not gonna let that stop us have a walk. I'm chuffed to have my husband on my walk, even if he's talking to his mother, not me. Um, but yeah, to anyone else out there, if you need any questions answered, I'm more than happy to try. Like I said, I won't give medical advice, but I can tell you as it is from my point of view, because this is my story, the truth is real for me, it's my truth. Um, I hope everybody has a healthy, happy Saturday. It's the weekend, I've got a hen do to go to tonight, so that should be interesting. I was out for a Chinese meal last night, another NSV I guess. It was with um, my husband's old boss and his wife. Um, I normally would have had major anxiety about it. I didn't at all last night, which was super. And in fact, the wife noticed my weight loss straight away. And I had toyed with the idea whether I was going to admit I'd had surgery or not. And me being me, of course I did. Um, because I couldn't bear the thought of seeing them in another six months time and she'd seen my YouTube or whatever and, and I'd lied. So that's just me. I know a lot of people choose I know a lot of people choose not to discuss what they've had done so but I was more than happy to and tell them how I've lost my way and you know there were no bad comments about anything I put the hard work in at the end of the day and yeah I'm super proud of myself and super positive I didn't eat much I had two glasses yes. of wine but thoroughly enjoyed myself so tonight I hope can be the same um, I think it's karaoke and cocktail bar, so we shall see, we shall see. I hope you're all really well, healthy and happy. If you haven't already, please click like and subscribe. And I will chat to you all again, maybe tomorrow if I'm not hungover. Take care from me and him in the background. Bye.